Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Right, a couple of things before we get started. I have started my second YouTube channel on Call of Duty. You know, it's going to be probably put, set there for the next few years. If you're a fan of Call of Duty, you like well and see me play, the link for that channel is down in the description below along with all my social media links and my sponsor link. Speaking of sponsor, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. Use the word SWAT as it's spelled on your screen now and get 10% off the purchase price and they could be selling my merch very, very soon. But anyway guys, a lot to talk about, so guys, let's get straight down to this. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk to you about is Wolverhampton vs Chelsea. Uh, Wolverhampton, how do you summon them up? Um, can't quite remember how I got on that. I think Chelsea lost uh, this previous weekend. I can't remember who to. But, you know, it's going to be a good game. I think both sides of the water. Wolverhampton at home. Chelsea have got to look back to get on one in ways. So I will go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. Next one is Manchester City versus West Bromwich Albion. West Bromwich Albion losing to Newcastle. Uh, you know, and very nearly got a point. Dwight Gull, head of goal. Um, obviously, an ex West Brom player and Crystal Palace player. Good cross it was as well. I can't remember. Uh, James, I think it's the first time it's Jamie the player across it. Sorry if it's not. But, you know, good cross, good header. Um, yeah, just a bit short for West Brom and Jalbion. Going on the other side of this, Manchester City are a really hard team. Drawing 0 0 in the Manchester derby. It weren't a pretty game, but because of where West Brom are, I'm going to tip City for a win, and I'm just going to tip him for a 2-0 win, so not very high at all. My next one is Arsenal versus Southampton. Arsenal losing to Burnley this midweek just gone. How do I know that? Midweek, I mean weekend just gone. How do I know that? Because I've just literally played as I'm recording this. It's literally about five minutes away from the final whistle, so... You know, they're just off to Burnley. Playing Southampton, who, you know, are sitting, you know, comfortably round the top of, like, round the top of the table. I think Southampton will win this game, funny enough, at the Emirates Stadium again. And I'll go for a 3-1 Southampton win. My next one is Leeds United versus Newcastle. Can't quite remember how Leeds got on. But I do know that Newcastle... Uh, beat West Brom. Leagues, you know, are a very hard team to predict at this time of season. They started well. I think they lost, if I remember rightly. Sorry if I mis mis uh, misstate that, but I think they did lose. Let's, you know, so going up against you, being back at Adam Road, though, this could be a good one. I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester City versus Everton. Leicester beating Brighton 3 0 and deserve to do so. Uh, Everton, I think they might have won this weekend. Can't quite remember that one either. But, you know, it's the way it goes sometimes. Um, but, you know, Leicester went one go up and they went dominant. Um, but, you know, so fair play for Leicester for doing that. Everton, I can't quite remember how they've got on, but Everton do look like a good side. Could possibly become my dark horses um, within the next couple of weeks. Depends how they go. Going forward to the game, I'm going to expect a good draw out of this one, a good game all round, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Brighton. Big three points for both clubs. Fulham nearly got the three points against Liverpool. How do I know that? Because Fulham played today. And to me, they deserve the three points. Uh, the handball penalty perhaps should not have been given. I'll speak more about that when we get down to the Burnley game. But yeah, Fulham drawing 1 1 with Liverpool. Brighton loses 3 0 to uh, Leicester and playing really, really bad. Fulham are going to be up for this game as much me for you know me being a Brighton fan it's going to hurt I'm going to stick up for a Fulham win and I'm going to stick up for 
a 3 nil Fulham win. If Fulham could play anything like they did against Liverpool, against the way Brighton played, after, especially going after that one goal down, then I can quite easily see Fulham going 3 nil and winning that game. Next one is Liverpool versus Tottenham. Liverpool, you know, as I said, probably don't deserve that point. That handball, and as I said, I'll speak more about it when we get down to the burn again, which is literally just a couple of games away. You know, but they got a point against Fulham, much needed point. Going up against Tottenham, this is a top of the table clash. Tottenham got one the point, so are Liverpool. Both teams have really got to go out here, I do believe. I'm going to go for a really exciting game, and I'm going to go for a 3-3 three, three scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, I think they... Did they win? I think Crystal Palace won. I can't quite remember who they beat. But, you know, fair week for uh, Crystal Palace. West Ham up in the top five. My table prediction for West Ham this season is so low. Even I know that. And, yeah, unless they start dropping points really quickly, I'm well off the mark with West Ham. But anyway, fair play to West Ham. I'm going up against the Crystal Palace in a, in a London derby. I do think this could go only one way. I'm going to go for a West Ham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 West Ham win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Burnley. I talked to you about the penalty shout between Fulham and Liverpool and Arsenal and Burnley. Burnley obviously got the three points. I think Villa got the three points, if I remember rightly. But Burnley sort of had a handball. It hit him there, I think it was, after a free kick. There, I'm not sure how well you can see that. But, um, or it might have been there. I can't quite remember where. But anyway, similar handball happened in the Fulham Liverpool game. It was given for Liverpool, but weren't given for Arsenal. And that's why I started falling out, out of love with this game. It, you know, it's not consistent. Going forward to the game, Burnley are going to be much looking for the three points to get them out of the danger zone. Um, let them know that Brighton, Sheffield United, Fulham, and even Arsenal are in there now. You know, it's going to be a really big week of football. I'm going to tip Fulham off for the win, and I'm going to tip off for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this midweek is Sheffield United versus Man United. Dean Henderson returns to his old stomping ground, probably not Man United's first spot. United did do, well, Man United drew, drew nil nil against Manchester City. This could, you know, really be one way. And Sheffield United are really looking for points. But I'm going to go for a United win, and I'm going to go for a 2 nil United win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a little big fuck up if you enjoy it. Don't forget about my Call of Duty channel. Link for that is down in the description below. Thanks for watching. Give us a little big fuck up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.